It's time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, recently, Jeremiah was on Lip Service. You know, he has a new single out. And he was talking about, if you recall, he had a really tough battle with COVID. He was in the hospital, and he even had to go on a ventilator. And afterward, he said he had to learn how to walk again. You know, two years ago, you were really sick with COVID. Yeah, I was. I was down, like, bad, bad. Every day, I had to learn how to walk again. I mean, walk up the steps type of So That must have been a wow. really scary yeah. time because... <clears throat> You know, I guess you had said that your stomach was hurting. You got up, you called your mom, like, I got to go to the hospital. Something was wrong. I was in the, I was in the, yeah, I was in the bathroom. And I just felt the room shaking. I was like, something wrong. And then, honestly, when I checked myself in the hospital, I don't remember nothing after that night. Mm. Wow. You know, I was in there for a month and a half, and um, they told me I had something called MIS, which mm -hmm. is a multiple inflammatory uh, syndrome, which all my organs just kind of exploded. Wow. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, imagine that. He didn't even know if he'd ever, ever be able to sing again. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. So shout out to Jeremiah for glad coming through. Glad he's doing through. fine. Yeah, glad mm -hmm. he's doing great now. All right. Now, speaking of podcasts, Jeezy was on Million Dollars Worth Game, and he talked about his real estate portfolio. And here's what he said he does when it comes to investing in property. You know, now they tell me you mother real estate king. A lot of Atlanta. Yeah, half of Atlanta, baby. Damn. Damn. No, no cap. LLC shouted. Who put you on game? I was with my team. My, um, one of my great, you know, confidants and friend uh, and business partner, Solo, uh, is what we call him, turned me on to, which ended up being one of my closest friends, uh, my realtor. And he just gave me the game. Like, and he, we just went and bought all this land. And uh, he broke out, you know, the business. And he's like, yeah, you know this building that you bought for such and such is worth this now. And I'm looking, I'm like, damn, like, we didn't do anything. He was like, that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what real estate is. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you. You know what I'm saying? And, and from that from that day forward, I was stuck. I buy property. I don't buy chains, watches, cars, none of that. Mm -hmm. I buy property. I feel you on that. Because let me tell you something. A great investment feels good years later. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even less than that. All right. And the baby was on with DJ Clue. And he talked about a joint album that he has. Who you think it's with? I know who it's with. I heard it. But let's hear Who's like probably the craziest person that reached out to you to work with you that you just couldn't have time to do it or? Did, oh, like one that I didn't do? Yeah. A lot of people reached out, like, that we probably like imagine. didn't end up releasing type shit, like some shit. Well, I'm sure like, you got some secret gems in the vault. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So like me and Justin Bieber, we recorded like a joint project, like a whole damn album. Word. Yeah, yeah. And we got well, that's sad, man. We recorded it really like around like COVID. Just invite mm -hmm. me to the crib. I'm gonna act like I stole the USB, man. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah, yeah, we could do that and press play on you and shit. Yo, Clue, like Definitely. when Biggie said, Yo, Clue, I'm looking for you. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. right. That's you type anything. Yeah, and it's just <laughs> got you. <laughs> got you for sure. All right, so yeah. Uh, no? I mean, uh, don't clap. I mean, the baby gets busy, regardless of, of people supporting him or not supporting him or whatever it may be. The baby gets busy. He's, he's dead nice. Mm hmm. Now, and I saw this a couple of days ago, so I don't know what it is, but people are thinking, and she was trending for this, that Monica is dating Kodak Black. She had posted a picture of herself getting into a Maybach. The caption said, on a date, kind of nervous, and she put a winky emoji after that. Then afterwards, she posted a picture with Kodak Black. He's holding a stack of money. She's holding a Birkin, and, you know, it was also her birthday. Mm -hmm. So she posted, thank you, and she tagged him in that picture. So, uh... Neither of them have confirmed anything, and for all we know, again, this could just be a friendship, or maybe they were working on something together, but it definitely caused her to trend because of that. Yeah, it seems like they're homies. It seems like they're always together. I don't know how far it goes, but it seems like We have like no idea, basically. Yeah, he always, you know, supports her, and she always supports him, which is, which is dope. All right, now, Tory Lanez has been ordered to be under house arrest until his trial starts, and that's because of the alleged incident with August Alsina. The order came yesterday during a court hearing in L.A. It was ruled that Tory needs to be on lockdown this until November 28th because of the accusations that he beat up or had August Alsina beat up in Chicago in September. Prosecutors argued that Tory Lanez deserves to be remanded into custody because in their eyes he violated the conditions of his bail. In the Meg Thee Stallion case, they say he continues to pose a threat to public safety and that monetary bail alone wasn't enough of a deterrent. Now, Tory Lanez's attorney pushed back, said no charges had been filed in that case. There were only allegations. And August Alsina also went on social media to allege that uh, Tory Lanez had sucked punched him and he had pictures as well so this is crazy like, like let's really think about it 
Tory Lanez hasn't been charged. This is all accusations. This is all things that people have seen and put together on social media. He hasn't been charged. He hasn't been arrested. Nothing like that. And because of what people are saying online, he's under house arrest. That don't make sense to me. Yeah, but he wasn't charged. That's like right now I could say Angela you punched me in my face and I can show a mark and all of a sudden any of your deals you lose. It hasn't been confirmed. You haven't been arrested. That is wild. If, Think about it. That's wild. enough. I punch you in the face. It's a good reason. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're right. He hasn't been charged. He just has a trial coming up and... You know, I don't know how that works. Like, he's been Sounds ordered crazy. to stay out of trouble. But then he also, again, it's not like he's on probation, right? Yeah, but he... he, he is he? He's the, not on probation, is he? Well, the judge can... Yeah, I mean, he's kind of on probation for, you know, this case and things that he's done in the case during the meantime. But Because if you're on probation, you can't do anything. Right, but he, you can't even be around the vicinity. But he hasn't, he, he hasn't violated anything because he hasn't been arrested. He was at a show doing a performance. I don't think August Alcina pressed charges on him. I'm not sure. No, I don't they think they so. they said there are no, no there charges. There are no charges. So there's no, yeah. there's no reason why he should be under house arrest because there's nothing to prove that he did anything wrong. It could be all cap for all we know. Mm. But the judge is, is watching social media and, and, and locks him up and keeps him under house arrest for that? Nah, that's not right. All right. Well, The Upshaws is back for a third season. Netflix has renewed that series uh, yet again. Wanda hey. Sykes is in that. Mike Epps is in that. Uh, Kim Fields. It's a really good show. It's a funny show. I oh. do enjoy watching The Upshaws. So mm -hmm. congratulations to them. The, uh, uh, the show will be returning early next year. With, and yeah, Wanda Sykes from Hampton University, by the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and that is your rumor report. All right, now Charlemagne is out, so if you want to give somebody donkey of the day, 800-585-1051. Phone lines are wide open. Call us up right now. It's The Breakfast Club.